Victoria may ankle during the 76 season of the UAE. And one week before the tournament, you know, I, I, I got injured. Tore my ankle. Yun din, hindi ko din matanggap na hindi ako pwede maglaro for like 6 to 8 weeks. Pero this one was different. Actually, wala nga pain. <laughs> diba? Yun yung masama dun eh. Wala nga pain na nalamdaman eh. Siguro, emotional pain. Diba? Malayo, sobrang layo. Sobrang layo talaga. Yung time mo. Wala na, wala. Wala, hindi mararamdaman ng kahit sino ang tao, wala yun. Nararamdaman ko talaga yun. The decision was there. It was final. But the hardest part for me, it took me like a few months to really accept, actually, to be honest. I you know, never touched the ball, uh, didn't even watch basketball, you know, tried to find different outlets uh, to somewhat you know, forget. played volleyball before. If I had the time, I'd join practices nila Eliza. You know, something to keep me competitive and busy. Yun lang, yun talaga eh, kasi I wanted to keep my mind off of what's happening. Well, naging outlet ko lang yung golf. Kasi, parang, I had to find myself uh, how to stay competitive, I guess. And golf is really a game of patience eh. Tapos, kalaban mo, sarili mo. Which was a big factor nung nasuspend ako kasi mostly yun naman yung kalaban ko kasi kung paano ko i-handle yung sarili ko. So natulungan talaga ako ng golf. Hindi lang pwede na hindi mo siya araw-arawin eh. Kailangan you have to really find time to play. So, yun yung meron ako, oras, nung nasuspend ako. Put up ako ng golf tournament which was really successful in my in my opinion, because I was able to help Jake Balanza, a co-athlete of mine, of course, uh, the late great Rolly Manlapas in, uh, in with, with his family. So, nakatulong naman tayo kahit pa paano. Uh, and it was really something that na I enjoyed kasi bagong environment with, with, with the familiar faces na nakakalaro natin sa basketball ngayon sa golf course ko nakakasama I use my platform uh, with anti-doping syempre um, since it's something that it's really close to my heart um, and since I really had you know, I, I really learned a lot not lessons but the specifics of what happened to me I'm really fortunate to be under such organization or with NLEX who stood by me all throughout since day one. Put up a lot of campaigns for me to be able to help the youth, especially our drivers, our motorists. No, we have a road safety campaign. Tapos pumunta pa ako sa iba ibang lugar. I think dalawa or tatlo yung napuntahan ko na. I was able to talk about road safety and my experiences of being my, a driver myself and related to what happened to me or similar to mga natutunan ko. So, uh, laing bagay ng NLEX actually, you know, hindi lang sa nabisi ako pero marami din tayo natutunan, marami din tayo natulungan. So I was hearing a lot of things calling me an addict, a uh, drug addict, you know, someone who takes advantage of other people, you know, the daya, cheat ng... Uh, you know, taking advantage of the game, not respecting the game, yung mga ganong bagay. Comments that would really hit me or is, siguro every time they would include my family, yun lang. Uh, girlfriend ko, si Eliza, mom ko, dad ko, sturdy, si Danny. Yung pag yun ang nadadamay, medyo natitik off talaga ako eh. Kasi syempre, pamilya mo yan, di ba? You know, there's a fine line of me, my issue, and including my family members which is not part of, of, of the issue at all. So every time I would hear, I would read, I would uh, see something na ganun. You know, it's just automatic for me to react. Uh, 
But, you know, wala naman na, wala na siya ngayon. Wala naman na siya ngayon. Kaya okay na, positive na lang lahat. I'd say one was the brawl. So, ano ba, the lowest. Just because it happened right after my suspension. I'm not saying that I could have prevented it. Pero, para sa akin naman, you can talk amongst everybody, para try to keep cooler heads, you know. And of course, you want to be with your brothers. Uh, even though in that type of scenario uh, or situation, one was that. Siguro and the other one was. Tayo yung pinaka recent siguro yung nag-start kami ng ano. Zero six. It was tough kasi parang. Ang time na yun, nakapractice na ako. June 21. Medyo nasa gitna na ako ng practice na yun. Practice na ako ng practice na ako ng practice. Kahit anong gusto kong itulong na 0-3 na, 0-4 na, 0-5 na, 0-6 na. Kahit anong gusto kong itulong, hindi ko siya magagawa yun. Masaya ako nun kasi siyempre tagal kong hinatay na mga pag-insayo ulit. Pero at the same time, the reality is, you know, I still get paid. I heard it from somebody. They say, in golf, sometimes you get good breaks from bad shots. You get bad breaks from good shots. But you have to play the ball where it lies. Parang kung magasa buhay, minsan may mga swerte, di ba? Sin swerte tayo. Minsan talagang malas talaga. Pero kung nasan ka ngayon, ano yung stature ng buhay mo? Kailan magtuloy-tuloy yun?